I am Dr. Jesse Sanders with Aquatic Veterinary Services of Northern California. Today we will be reviewing how to give a fish a physical exam. So in our bucket today we have volunteered this nice little koi. So the first part of a physical exam is to notice their behavior. For fish, it's normal for them to be swimming around, interacting with the other fish in the pond, and sitting upright, straight. So this guy, as you can see, sitting upright, he's a little freaked out because we put him in the bucket, but he's straight up and down, bilaterally symmetrical, breathing normally, and just kind of doing his own little fishy thing. So now starts the actual physical exam part. So for little guys, we don't have to do this under sedation, but for the big guys, we do. So take a look on both sides, make sure there's no bumps or lumps or anything out of the ordinary. Both eyes are clear, not protruding out of his head. No tears along any of his fins. And then flip him over and get a view of his belly, all nice and white, which is just what we want to see. So first we're going to start with the skin sample. This is what we first do to check for parasites. I like to take it from under the pectoral fin and under the pelvic fin. Uh, it's usually a spot where they can't scratch if they've been flashing. So using a glass cover slip, just slide it along his body. You just get a little bit of their skin there. So that goes on to glass slide. After the skin sample, we want to take a gill sample to see if there's any parasites on the gills and to get an overall idea of the general health of the gill tissue. All right. So we have them here. Slip the suture scissors under. Take a small sample and then put it onto our slide. Since this guy is so small, the filaments are very hard to see. And then you go back in the pond with the rest of them, provided that we don't find anything on the samples that he needs immediate treatment for. And that is how we do a physical exam of a fish.